Hello everyone and welcome to episode four in our Home House Stories collection. Well, yes, we may be still in semi-lockdown, but I have to tell you, my locks are not down. They're actually defying gravity, and I hope yours are too. Last week, we looked at the music room uh, in lovely pale apple greens. Today, we're having a look at possibly what many people might think is the grandest of the suite of drawing rooms, the parade rooms. This is a great drawing room. The elegance of the place is, again, uh, typified by the art that is there, typical of the time, the 18th, early 19th century, and also the attention to detail when it comes to gilding and the use of, in this particular case, in this room, the wonderful paintings tied directly to the wall. Now, at this time, we're talking about the period uh, of time, the late 18th century, when there was revival of a concept called neoclassicism. Now, this was a desire to go back to the classical world in terms of art or music, architecture, literature, the wisdom of Greece and Rome. And we have here a very imperial feel that anyone would agree if they come into this room, the pillars as you come in, the elegance of those, and the gilding, the paintwork, if you look at the ceiling, the, again, the intertwining gildwork and the paintings directly in tondi, which are called uh, tondi, which are the circular paintings directly applied onto the ceiling and into the wall. This was a time when a lot of people who were in this position to show their wealth and show their knowledge would pursue what we call bucolic or rustic pleasures. So the whole ideal of the countryside, of uh, goddesses, nymphs and shepherds, and you'll see these in the great drawing room. And you'll see uh, also in France, the sad fate of uh, Marie Antoinette, of course, um, she went through a phase where she was still Queen of France, but she wanted to wear the simplest muslin shift dresses and lead her sheep on pink silk leads. As a sort of idea that this is a country ideal, getting back to the country. We still have that today, of course, the, the joy of getting out of the city. And that existed, of course, in the century. I was here personally and saw the restoration work when the, um, this room in particular, and actually the parade rooms in general, needed a refreshing. Now, you won't believe it because we're always looking up, we're looking to the sides, we're looking at the beauty up uh, above our heads, but look beneath you, at your feet. Now, you can't really see the floorboards, but let me tell you, that each of these floorboards is an 18th century item. Each one lifted up, refreshed, numbered, and replaced. That's the level of attention to detail that Home House has. Home House, as we all know, is known for its many fireplaces. But actually, in this part of the house, the great drawing room arguably is the finest example in the whole of the structure, and actually one of Robert Adams' triumphs when it comes to fireplaces. And this is a fantastic fireplace with detailing to die for. And the elegance, next time you're there, just have a look at how it's been structured and how it's been put together. So if I see any vast trucks outside in Portland Square waiting to perhaps take away things, we'll know your number. That's it. 